Esteemed naturalist E.O. Wilson once said, find the best stories nature has to tell. Here at Tuft Nature Preserve, one can discover the most powerful and engaging stories. Stories that highlight the ecology of the land and our aquatic and industrial heritage. Or you may say our green, blue, and brown stories. It really is about valuing nature's wisdom. Getting outdoors to explore, ask questions, and discover and experience nature's lessons firsthand. Tiff Nature Preserve is a 264-acre natural oasis just three miles from downtown Buffalo on the shores of Lake Erie. The history of the preserve dates back to when this land was the floodplains for Lake Erie and a hunting and fishing location for the Native Americans. 75 acres of cattail marsh still remain as home to many species of waterfowl, such as pied-bill grebes, Virginia rail, wood ducks, least bitterns, and many more. This blue story is only one of the ways we educate our visitors about the value of preserving and protecting our natural resources. One of the truly unique aspects of Tift is its industrial heritage. Hiking the five miles of trails at Tift is not your typical walk in the woods. It is really a travel back in time. We like to say we are digging in the past to be more sustainable in the future. Tift is like a jewel that's been, would you say, saved from what once was a garbage dump and a trench shipping point. And nowadays we have 264 acres of really wonderful nature. And it's what I would call viable. It doesn't stay the same, it changes. So if you're here one year and you come back two years later, it's a completely different place. When you look out at Lake Kersey, you can envision how it looked in the past. Imagine the central canal wider and deeper to accommodate large shipping vessels and canal boats. The westernmost canal was connected to the city ship canal in the Buffalo River, and many important commodities, including lumber, iron ore, and coal, came through these canals that are now Tiff Nature Preserve. Environmental education and sustainability are ever more important as we face the challenges of climate change. That is why we are making sustainability a vibrant part of our vision for the expansion of the Education Center. As we improve the habitat at Tift with funds from the Niagara River Greenway Ecological Standing Committee, we have a goal of planting 350 trees in a single day to highlight the goal of 350 parts per million of carbon dioxide in, in the atmosphere. Scientists believe this number is a safe level of CO2 in our atmosphere. The planet currently has about 391 parts per million. One of the elements of the new building will be the addition of a nature preschool. Young children have an innate affinity for the natural world. E.O. Wilson calls it biophilia. Albert Schweitzer called it reverence. Rachel Carson called it a sense of wonder. But by any name, it is a sense of belonging in nature. Everyone has that feeling to one degree or another. Reconnecting with nature can allow the sense of wonder to rekindle. To flourish, it needs to begin early in life, in the experience of nature mediated by perceptive and caring adults, to validate a child's fascination with bugs, animals, trees, rocks, plants, water, seasons, and landscapes. That is our vision for Tift.